Hello, it is IRP. Now, today's video is going to be my review of this Icon Air Form Warden helmet. Uh, a full face helmet that I have had worn uh, as my primary helmet for the past uh, one year or so. In my personal opinion, uh, having bought about this is my, my third Icon helmet, I, I do think I like it a lot. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's a pretty good helmet. Um, if, if you were to compare to the rest of the Icon lineup, even, even to the, the Airframe Pro that I had before, as well as several other helmets within its price range, in my personal opinion, it's not the best, it's not perfect, but it does some things good that I think I want to share with you and you can let me know what you think about it as well. So first of all, I am going to talk about some of the most basic information. Uh, in terms of weight, the F form Warden, this is the, the Warden color scheme, the, the helmet is just F the Icon Air Form. Now the Icon Air Form range of helmets, they weigh about 3.7 pounds uh, in kilograms, that is about 1.67 kilograms. So it's not a particularly light helmet, but it is uh, pretty on par with full frame helmets that use a, a uh, plastic shell. In terms of shell sizes, they have three. Uh, the one I have here is uh, the, the, the middle shell, I have a size L fitted for uh, heads around 59 to 60 centimeters in circumference. And in terms of the fitting, I would say it's more towards the intermediate oval, so a very uh, average head shape, and it's m most likely going to appeal to the mass market out there. So now, uh, in terms of some basic ventilation and, and soundproofing, I would say before I move into internals and show you what it's like on inside, um, the ventilation is pretty good uh, for what it is. It's got four uh, input channels and one exhaust vent. It's not amazing but it just does its job well enough primarily because it does not have a chin curtain that comes with uh, for example the airframe pro that i had before it does not have a chin curtain so most of the ventilation actually just comes from the bottom of your chin uh, which brings me to my second point in terms of sound and silenceness uh, the air form is a rather loud helmet so i would really encourage anybody that writes regularly to keep your plugs on hand for one of these um, it feels like a a cheaper helmet in terms of uh, its ability to dampen sound number one uh, there's no chin curtain even though you know it's helped by the fact that there is less uh, air ventilation from the front another thing i would like to talk about is probably the price of the air form warden now the air form warden uh, for me, when I bought it, it was about 225 Singaporean dollars, uh, and that is not including the about 40, 60 dollars shipping it costs to bring it from the United States. So, Icon doesn't have a dealer in Singapore as far as I can think of. So, uh, I usually just buy it online from an online store. Now, let me talk about some of the external portions that I like about the helmet right now. Uh, first of all, the Warden comes with a purple RST windshield. Uh, and compared to the Air Form, the Airframe Pro, sorry, the Airframe Pro, the Air Form has a larger uh, chin bar compared to the Airframe Pro, which I think is great. First of all, there's a lot of smooth uh, spaces around the side of the helmet as well as a generous si generously sized chin bar for mounting a, a front camera if you wish to use uh, action cameras for that purposes, uh, as well as side cameras and uh, side mounted uh, communications devices. The shell itself is uh, pretty 
smooth uh, without any bits sticking out in terms of production it is a uh, ECE 2205 rated which would satisfy, satisfy literally any kind of safety standard across the world including the one in Singapore uh, the quality of the pre-included RST visor I think is a bit iffy I have bought RST visors for my Airframe Pro uh, as a separate edition uh, the Icon Optics line of uh, mirrored visors I bought a blue one for my previous Airframe Pro Barong but uh, compared to the aftermarket additional RST visor that I bought for my, my, my Barong it's a bit it feels a bit different in terms of build quality for the ones that are pre-included with the helmet purchases on uh, airform helmets that include them first of all the the mirror coating at the edges of the helmet seems to be easily chipped off if i could put it that way uh, they smudge a bit more easily and they do scratch a lot more easily compared to the ones uh, that I buy, you know, packaged separately and sold separately uh, as a replacement part. I do not know why that is. It technically shouldn't do that, or it could just be the fact that the uh, RST visor, the purple RST visor that I got with my Warden helmet, uh, was of a, a bad batch, if I could say that. Now, let us move on to the inside of the Airform Warden. I'm going to push it a bit closer to you so that you can see. Uh, the visor it ha itself has about from stop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 indentations. Uh, pushing it back down, over here we've got a double D-ring uh, locking system. The inside of the helmet is made of very, very plush, uh, sweat moisture wicking, a uh, hydra dry material that's also a, a bit antimicrobial, at least for the first few year, the first year of your use uh, before I, I think it doesn't really work anymore. Uh, as experienced by my uh, airframe Pro that I had before. Uh, the Airform helmet is made up of only three pieces, uh, one cheek pad per side. Uh, and what makes me like this a lot is that instead of three, uh, three, you know, this kind of a uh, connector points that used to be on the Airframe Pro and in most helmets, full face helmets and, and three quarter helmets, uh, instead the portion closest to below your ear uh, is using Velcro as an attachment point. Now this is great because why? Usually the attachment point here is the hardest to see when reattaching your cheek pads and a Velcro makes it a lot easier to actually uh, get it right instead of trying to line up the, the two points between the shell and your cheek pad itself. So this too is, is perfectly fine because usually you can you know just squeeze it like this and then see whether it lines up with the one on the shell and then you line it in this one not so much. So apart from that, uh, it also comes with a single, uh, let me pull it out from my side, I can't see. Over here we have the top liner which is not as easy to pull out. I'm going to pull open the visor so you can see. It uses a sort of a simple slide-in system at the forehead. This is great. It's a great system in general for any helmet uh, and it's sort of commonplace now. So I kind of don't consider this a special feature. It's used in almost any helmet that's been manufactured since like at least the 2015s and 2016s. Um, it helps reduce the fact that there, that there could be pressure points if they use the same kind of connector system as this on the cheek pads. Uh, so this 
removes any of that possibility and it's great. Uh, one more thing is that this particular system uh, compared to the one on the F-Frame Pro uh, is less prone to to long-term wear and tear. So the F-Frame Pro's uh, own um, connector is also likewise similar to this, removes all form of uh, forehead pressure, uh, but it utilizes the gasket on the viewport uh, as a way to hold it in. So as you know, on most helmets, especially Icon helmets, the gaskets always fail, they come off. And um, on the Frame Pro, that is also same, prone to falling off and your, your helmet liner doesn't really connect very well or seat very well uh, after that. So the ones used here on the Air Form is so much better, so much more uh, future-proof compared to that. Now, if you were to look inside, a bit hard to see without light. Yes, you should be able to see the amount of channels that rolls from the front to the back. Uh, not a lot, considering uh, the fact that there is only like uh, four front-facing uh, vents and only one exhaust vent, so none of this really kind of uh, matters much. Uh, if you were to go in a bit over here, you'll be able to see they have speaker cutouts if you wish to use some sort of communication device or to uh, listen to music on your phone your, through a Bluetooth speaker of sorts. Unfortunately, no uh, eyeglass cutouts for those of you that wear glasses. Uh, for me, it's not an issue. I personally have uh, my own personal cutouts that's pretty much molded into my head already so uh, even though I have very thick glasses I, I'm usually not bothered by literally any helmet that doesn't have helm eyeglass cutouts. They do have a breath guard that is a pretty substantial material quality. Uh, the gaskets, this are, is the most important thing I want to talk about now. The gaskets now at the front on the Airframe Pro, the gaskets here at the, at the chin bar, as well as the gaskets around the viewports, they tend to come off very easily as uh, the glue fails over time. The, the glue just degrades over time and they fall off very easily. I expect the same thing to happen. It's only been a year. Usually glues fail after the two year mark in my experience for both Airframe Pro helmets that I had before. This is probably only going to last me about another year before they come off. I'm going to expect that to happen, but I am also going to expect that it is less likely to rip off as the glue dries and becomes brittle due to the sheer fact that they've now increased the thickness uh, between here and here of the gaskets. Uh, as well as the ones over here, uh, meaning that even if the glue dries and hardens, uh, it's going to require a bit more shearing for accidental shearing force for it to like just come loose. So it might just stay on by f by pure friction. Um, the material used for the gaskets here and here along the base of the helmet as well is also significantly improved on the Airframe Pro helmets. They use some sort of uh, rubber. It, it feels incredibly rubbery. So uh, the ones over here, they are significantly harder, some sort of vulcanized rubber. Uh, and I think this is going to last a lot more. They are less prone to disintegration on their own. Uh, on top of that, there is also a visible lack of any use of faux leather on the bottom edges of the helmet here at the back and here all the way around that used to be very prone not only just on my Airframe Pro helmets but literally every single other helmet that I own uh, like from Cabot uh, that use, use those kind of uh, faux leather materials as a sort of a covering 
for the, the foam underneath. Uh, those materials, as they age, they, they dry, they flake off, and they cause a huge mess. But instead, over here, you have some sort of a nylon mesh material that uh, Icon has decided to use to, to cover up the, the actual protective foam inside the helmet. And I foresee this to last way longer, if not indefinitely. Another thing that I like about the design of the Icon Air Form is that over here, the chin bar of the helmet. Now, in the Airframe Pro, they use some sort of a rubbery material uh, or a foam material, like a hard foam. So that is used to, in the event, you smash your face against the chin bar in the event of a collision. Uh, it, it dampens that you know that injury to your to your jaw and your and your mouth uh, instead of that sort of foam material they instead have a actual uh, proper uh, you know a polystyrene foam underneath covered by faux leather uh, on the front now faux leather like i did say like pleather used in other places they do tend to to flake as well but this one over here seems to uh, be a lot more substantial and uh, this sort of faux leather is also less prone to flaking off and disintegrating as the helmet ages. Apart from that, uh, one final thing I would probably add is uh, that the viewport on the Airform series of helmets, they seem to be a lot smaller compared to the Airframe. Pro, uh, the fact is that for me, in terms of the vision from the, the, the top to bottom, it probably doesn't really change much. Uh, most of the changes seem to be in the, in the uh, left and right. There seems to be a bit smaller amount of vision provided by the viewport here. Uh, that may be personally be just my own um, uh, experience that's sort of subjective so it's something to consider it also comes with a simple slide and push uh, internal sun visor which probably explains uh, that sort of effect to me because uh, what this means is that uh, your face probably sits a few millimeters uh, further back in the helmet from the viewport due to the fact that there's an integrated sun visor in, in this helmet. So here is my overall verdict. The Icon Airform is an affordable helmet if you want a helmet that meets all the basic protective standards set by the ECE and also a very good looking series of helmets and graphics. However, in terms of value for money in the other departments of sound and weight, as well as uh, sorely lacking any sort of adjustability, obviously, I think it is found lacking. Anyway, I hope this review is helpful to those of you looking for a new helmet in the Icon lineup. Do remember to head over to my store in the description below if you would like to support my channel or give me a like and subscribe and all that YouTube jazz and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.